All right, so uh, those of you that don't know me, I am Chuck, Brett's older, wiser, and yes, asked Tiffany over to table one more track with brother. <laughs> Glad you all can come out and enjoy this special moment with these guys tonight. Make sure you take as many photos, shoot as much video, so that we can capture this event for them as well, so they can look back on it over the next few years. Show of hands, how many people came here single tonight? All right, keep them up. The only photos I don't want to see are selfies. So if you're taking a selfie, there's a chance that you're probably single yourself. Look around the room, find these people that have their hands up, of the opposite sex, same sex, whatever you happen to be into, and, and make sure that you take a photo so you are not singled out on the phone tonight. Make sure you upload to Facebook, tag Brett and Corky, Palmer Wedding, Lake Winnebago, Wasted, whatever it happens to be. And, uh, you know, thanks to these guys and their parents for inviting us all and enjoying this great hospitality tonight. So, a round of applause for these guys. Now, I'm going to take a minute and kind of embarrass these guys. They kind of hit on it a little bit out there during the ceremony tonight of how they first met. But uh, the other night I was trying to figure it out. I knew when they first met. I just couldn't remember what, what the date was and, and when it all happened. And Courtney shot me a couple of dates the other night, which she thought it was. And thanks to the help of Ticketmaster and uh, looking at some history, I was able to pull back of when we actually went to it. And it was February 23rd, 2010. Write it down. And... Uh, I was uh, able to talk right into uh, Spurgeon a little bit, and we bought some upgraded tickets, and we sat right inside that night. And uh, usually we sit up in the corners, the cheap section, but maybe it paid off that night. And uh, we sat a few, few rows back from the glass, and uh, we sat next to Courtney and her cousin Kesley. And uh, those two were pretty wound up, all jacked up on Mountain Dew. And uh, they were up dancing around, singing with all the intermission songs, all the new face-offs, and and things like that, and they didn't have to twist my arm any to get up and dance. I probably had two or three drinks in my body by then. But, uh, you know, Brad was sitting there enjoying it. I don't know if I was embarrassing him or he was shy, Courtney or what, but the Mavericks ended up winning that night in the shootout, and uh, it went on. But the best part was that when we left that night, we got out in the parking lot, and, and the search was on. The search was on, the Facebook search was on for Courtney Brown from Independence, Missouri. Now, he was in search of two things. One, was she single? And two, was she legal? <laughs> so over the course of the next few months in the summer, I, I think Brett was able to convince her into going on a date. I don't know if it was late summer. You guys went to uh, the, the plaza, I think yeah. it was, wasn't it? It was probably the cheesecake factory. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, so so that's that's how I remember these two meeting. Uh, I'll never forget that night because it was quite entertaining. But you know, so I tried to think of a way that I could tie hockey and their true love for each other into one. Well, Brett had the same idea. We must be brothers because I chose a hockey puck. I had no idea he was going to do that, nor did he have no idea that I was going to bring this tonight. But. This hockey puck is brand new. Tiffany picked it up for me the other day. There's no dents, there's no scratches. Just as the first night they would face off in the game itself. Throughout the course of the game and throughout the course of your marriage, this puck is going to take hits. It's going to take scratches and it's going to take deems. But it's going to stay together and it's going to continue to play. Now, there's only two ways that this puck will break. One, you're going to put it under a bandsaw. Or two, it's going to become frozen and it will break. I've only known one puck to break one time, and it was Sioux City Musketeers. It was a slap shot in the pole. The puck shattered because it was frozen. So, of how I tie this puck together, of their true love for each other, luckily I've watched the movie Frozen thousands of times. And let it go. But how I tie that together, I, I'm sure most of you have seen the movie Frozen as well if you have kids at home, but. Anna and Elsa's true love for each other is, is what's the cure for a frozen heart. So this puck is their true love for each other, and they'll prevent this puck from being frozen and shattered. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is, you know, and 
in the career I work in, in the career Brett works in, and, and all these guys, there's there's one thing that that can make or break us out there, and that's communication. If you don't talk to each other and let each other know how you feel, it's the other person's going to be shut those doors. So communication, clear, concise communication. That's what we're told every free. So make sure you guys talk to each other and know how each other feels. So to Brett and Courtney, I'm a long, happy marriage.